The Pregona's Puerto Rican Traveling Theater is all about extraordinary theater performances that incorporate Puerto Rican and Latin culture. For this month, the theater has a trio of shows highlighting a number of topics. Joining us now to discuss the Bronx, October Trifecta, and the theater's relief drive for Puerto Rico, we welcome now Pregona's Associate Artistic Director, Jorge Merced, and we thank you so much for sharing with us. Oh, thank you for having us here today. Hey, listen, glad to have you. We've been talking about Puerto Rico all throughout the course of the show, and uh, obviously for you and those over Pregona's uh, opportunity to also help out and lend your hand, your talent, as well as your support. So true. I mean, what's happening in this island, it's been tremendous, and it's been something that all of us here in the Bronx continue to to. You know, put our hearts out and say, how can we help and what can we do to, to help those that have been impacted by this? And uh, I know there's a lot of you viewers who have still been, haven't been able to get in touch with their loved ones, right. who are trying to figure out what can I do? And, uh, and for us, it's really important that people understand that the people that inspire us have also been impacted by this uh, hurricane. And uh, the artists, the people that keep the culture alive are the ones that are also being the first respondents out there, cutting down trees, clearing out roads, going out to uh, older adults' home, you know, people's homes to help out and still keep their cultural voices alive. And we really want to support them and stand by them and lend a hand to those artists that have made that step, you know. Mm -hmm. So Great work, great work being done there. And so uh, this month is a very special month. You got the Bronx October Trifecta. If somebody doesn't know, what is the Trifecta? Well, Trifecta, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> those of you that gamble, you know what Trifecta <laughs> is. But it's uh, when you go three for three. You right. Know, and uh, we uh, dedicated the whole month to Puerto Rico before this hurricane came in. So it's a coincidence that we were dedicating it to Puerto Rico. So we have three really great events. One is coming this weekend. It's called the Harlem Health Fighters on a Latin Beat which is about the Harlem Hellfighters, which a lot of people think is a, uh, an African-American orchestra that really gave life to jazz uh, during the First World War. But half of those musicians were Puerto Rican musicians, black Puerto Rican musicians. Mm. And this show is about that component of the Puerto Rican, black Puerto Rican musicians that joined the Harlem Hellfighters. So that's why it's called Harlem Hellfighters on a Latin beat. And we're devoting 100% of the proceeds from that concert to our relief drive for artists. Uh, then it's going to be followed by this group that we're hoping that they can make it out of Puerto Rico mm -hmm. with Las Hijas de Bernarda the following weekend. And then uh, after that, we close the trifecta with El Apagón, the blackout about uh, one of our favorite plays in, in, uh, in our repertory about uh, the 1965 New York City blackout and two Puerto Rican guys that got stuck in the subway coming up uh, from Bro Brooklyn to the Bronx. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a great show. And we're hoping that people can really connect and understand that now that, that we need to get to come together and we need to really show our support for the arts, that uh, this is the best place in the Bronx to be right now, to, right. to shake hands with other people, to find out how they're doing, and to connect and to, to be uh, people again. And talk to us about the arts in a time such as this, because you know, you've got this great tragedy that's going on, a lot of devastation, a lot of families out there who are really relying on you know, something to be able to make it, and the arts and theater happens to be a great form and a great outlet to almost sometimes even take your mind away from all it's of that. It's so true, and usually Darren, what the arts are left for the last yeah. part of when any relief efforts. And uh, for us, it's really important that people understand that culture is vital, mm. that arts are vital in any type of uh, reconstruction or rebuilding of a nation. And we really want to make sure that our artists, with the artists in Puerto Rico, can connect and help each other. So we establish what we're calling the fund drive for artists in which we, we're putting cash in the hands of artists where they, where they need it the most. Without any, any intermediary, we identified artists that have worked here in the Bronx uh, in our theater and then those artists can identify other artists that they see that have lost uh, something that they need this kind of help and we are you know, raising the money to really bring that cash right to them where they need it the most right now. Mm -hmm. So we're asking people to join us to go to our website and to donate. If you really, th there's so many things that are happening right now. There's so many fun drives that are happening. And we're so proud that the people in the Bronx, especially, are really stepping up and supporting. And this is just one more where mm -hmm. you know that money is going to go directly to the artists where they need it the most. And that's the most important thing. Because sometimes you want to be able to put your resources yeah. and know that they actually get to where they're supposed to go. And we've had challenges before in terms of seeing those things happen but uh putting it in the artist's hands when it's all good it's so true i was seeing this video yesterday about uh, a gas station where you know the lines in puerto rico have been for you know five six hours yeah. to just get gas and who were the ones at the front of the line making sure people were nice and people were really comfortable it were musicians singing 
Mm. And these are people who have lost their jobs, who don't have any type of resources to really help their families and their neighborhoods, but they're there stepping up and saying, we're here, our culture is important, and those are the people we want to help. help. Yeah, yeah, very important. For people who don't know about Pregonas, uh, an opportunity to share a little bit with our viewers. Well, we are a Bronx company, born and bred. We've been around for many, many years, 36 years now. And we have our home on Walton Avenue and uh, between 149th and 150th. That's where all of our concerts for the trifecta are taking place. And uh, we're a Puerto Rican theater company that continues to be based in the Bronx and to do the work that our community needs right now. Mm -hmm. So, and we also have a, a, a sister venue in Manhattan but we are still a Bronx-centric uh, organization. So we do theater, music, uh, film. We do everything that you can find uh, in, in, under the umbrella of the arts, finds a home in our theater. Well, Jorge, thank you so much for coming and sharing with us, and hopefully we can get some more people out there to support this great effort and at least have a great time enjoying the arts. They should come this Saturday. It's going to be at 8 o'clock to Pregones and come see the Harlem, Harlem Hellfighters and the Latin Beat. You're going to enjoy it, and you're going to be supporting a great cause. Good to have you, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Jorge, here with us. All right, listen, stay tuned. Got more open coming up. We'll be right back right after this.